So hello my friends and welcome to today's edition of uh, Inside the Mind. I'm your host Nelson Vieira and today on a slightly different uh, system that uh, we are you, you'll be used and I am used to do. So today I am doing in the different podcast system so you're going to to hear just my voice today so if you want or if you prefer you can sit back relax and uh, enjoy this around 30 minutes of podcast and that you're going to to listen can be if you're listening on your cell phone you can just uh, put your cell phone in, in the table or you can in the chair in the sofa as long as you're you're, you're listening and of course and uh, comment during the this podcast if and also to know what is your opinion about the matter of today uh, so today i'm starting a new uh, uh, a new idea uh, called the covid kills and then uh, it's going to be like a small uh, series of uh, programs i'm going to uh, talk about how COVID affected uh, our regular life and uh, our daily, how affect our daily basis. And so that's the idea for this uh, small uh, series about uh, COVID. And for today, uh, first topic I want to talk about is solitude. And solitude on the on lockdown and also solitude about those who saw their relationships uh, over uh, to finish over COVID and sometimes to the the realizing of uh, the realizing of an idea that we thought we had. Uh, with the people we had around, but came into a conclusion that uh, the the people that we thought that it were around us, or the things that uh, we thought that were going on uh, to our highest good, uh, to realize that there were things that were not the best. Uh, for 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 you and the, the best for us of course and uh, this lockdown system and this covid situation uh, came to a point of bringing uh, something uh, new and uh, bring uh, new energy bring new ideas bring uh, that change that so many of us were needing into our lives and um, the that changes that is in a certain way trying to make us uh, better people and that's always uh, an idea that we want to have uh, to be better people to become better people to become um someone who can have a positive change in in the world uh who can uh, help doing something uh, better something different in a way that we can live in a better place uh with a better energy and uh and of course that better energy that will bring uh, a better lifestyle and a more healthy and positive lifestyle and that's always something that is very very important and uh, so uh, so taking on today's uh, theme uh, solitude and i know that is uh, something that so many of you already already experienced during uh, first lockdown and of course i'm speaking here now I, i'm in portugal i'm living in portugal and right now portugal is in a new lockdown very hard very difficult lockdown and uh, 
we are trying to deal uh, with this the best way possible and I know that so many people is not uh, dealing with it uh, in the in the best way because uh, first lockdown were already very very difficult and of course this lockdown won't be that different but uh, we already had a lockdown a year ago and uh, we had the opportunity to commit uh, all the mistakes we had to commit in that lockdown uh, at least it's the way i think and now we have a, a new and renovated opportunity to make things different make things for the change and uh, make everything for the best way way possible um what i think that is uh, that is important to to speak here is that i, I know uh, for is my first lockdown uh, alone and sometimes when we are alone in a lockdown we see that as a bad thing as a negative thing and not as a positive thing and uh, it's important now the, the idea for today is to help you to see uh, and for all of you that are in lockdown around the world uh, for instance here in Portugal will be at least one month but probably will be for more time probably for two months uh, at least at least till March will be in lockdown because Portugal is in a severe situation right now in a very very complicated situation so uh, lockdown will certainly be for longer than we would like that to be but it is what it is and we have to deal with it uh, but and I know and I met already people that is in a situation of being in the lockdown alone and that see the that situation as a bad bad thing instead of a good thing um and, and the idea that i want to give you is that um i know that it's difficult for instance this is my as i was saying before this is my first lockdown alone and uh, uh, we have to see the positive side of it mostly because uh, by being alone you know that the possibility of getting infected by covid is much less and the the risks will be much less and you at least you you won't be able to infect your family or friends if you have covid but you also won't get infected during these lockdown times and uh, and that, that and that's a good thing that's a good thing uh i know that for instance uh, my uh, i can say for my experience experience for instance i i i i been the first lockdown here in portugal i've been uh, i i've been companion on of some of someone else in that time and uh this covid situation these lockdowns made us reach a point of knowing the person that is uh, around us better and uh, what i mean with this so many people I, I i i in my situation i didn't thought that i need to know the person around me much better even i need it but not that deeply but i met so many people that uh, been in a long time uh, relationships with their wives or hu husbands or girlfriends or boyfriends and reach the point that they realize that been so long for a person that they really didn't know that good mostly because uh, we live in a in in, in a society of of, uh, of stress in a society of uh, money comes first to everything and not the people and covid uh, made uh, that capi capitalistic uh, idea uh, different in a way that uh, we have to start to think first on 
people and then on uh, on 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 money we have to think first in in everything uh, as a, a unity as a society as a unity people united instead of uh, thinking about uh, trying to jeopardize the person next to you by the capitalistic uh, side of it but the problem is that we are so in that uh, idea of uh, being being and living uh, in the capitalistic in the capitalistic side that we forget uh, of people and so many times we forget about our wives our husbands our girlfriends our boyfriends our family because we thinking we are just thinking about the the money and uh, the fame we are thinking just about work we are not doing uh, things properly in a way that we the people is next to us feel good with us we are are we are always hoping that people next to us will adapt to us no questions asked instead of uh, we trying to take the best of everything and every person that is around us and uh, this covid situation uh, teached us what not to do and that's why when so many people so many relationships people thought that knew the the person next to them and they realized that after so many so many situations after 10 20 30 years of marriage and sometimes with family that you thought that you knew very good your relatives and you reach the sit that situation of understand that the relatives you thought that you knew good you don't know them very good and that is that br that brings us some anger that brings us some uh, some distress some uh, disbelief uh, on 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 humanity in so many ways and that's the thing that we have now opportunity to recover that that's why so many people uh, got separated I, I and of course i speak for myself because that happened for instance to me as well uh 2020 was a year of so many changes and so many positive uh, changes uh, for me that uh, when people start to know each other better they start to realize that the person that is uh, next to them isn't pro probably not the person that you would like to have and that's a normal thing because these situations uh, happen for a reason and help you uh, to understand uh, what fits for you or not what is the best for you or not even you don't enjoy it even you don't like that uh, idea that uh, this situation is a good way to understand it but of course uh, you have the situation of of being alone of solitude and uh, reaching to the point some people already been during first lockdowns uh, alone some others are starting like me my first lockdown alone and uh, you know first the first lockdowns were good to learn something uh, and to learn most of the things that I spoke right now to understand how to be alone to understand what is the best for each and every one of us and to understand what we can do better uh, how we can become better people for instance this lockdown for in Portugal we are now in a new lockdown we are I think is the third lockdown we are in and uh, this lockdown I think is good to create and to change to relax and to take the best of it 
because right now we are going into a severe lockdown because Portugal is in the rankings of the worst country in everything right now uh, in terms of in terms of uh, cases in terms of the the virus uh, uh, the, uh, how strong the virus is in our community is very very complicated the the, the infection levels is very high and people and we are in a very severe uh, lockdown situation right now uh, in a very severe uh, lockdown infection uh, situation and of course uh, i said that again lockdown sorry uh, virus situation and now we are going into a severe lockdown that's what i i, I was uh, trying to say and mostly because uh, the people and the government uh, allowed to mostly during Christmas time and also New Year's the government allowed many easy things to happen and we as people we didn't realize that by accepting those things uh, we were jeopardizing all the work that we've done so far so we could we could avoid this situation but we didn't because uh, we just thought in ourselves uh, and in our well-being but we didn't thought in the other people we didn't thought in this uh, situation as a unity uh, a country unity and we just thought as a, as one as w the one self and that is uh, the biggest problem that we are uh, facing right now. That's why we are in a new lockdown. But uh, for those that are alone as me, see this in, a, in this way, for instance. Of course, that I would like to see my friends more. I would like to see my family more. But the truth is that by staying at home, we are having the opportunity to relax to do something different, to take possibly that that course that you you're intending to do for a long time, but you never made it, or uh, you or keep doing a course that you had stopped for a long time, you can have this opportunity to see that series or movie that uh, you want to see for a long time, never had time, or to read the book that you're intending to read for a very long time as well you can take the opportunity to have your house more clean because you try to clean your house but you just have your days off and it's never enough to have your house clean in the best way possible or you can just take your time to relax because uh, you have a very difficult and a stressful job and uh, your days off is never enough to relax and uh, now it's time to see this as vacations i know it's inside vacations or mostly inside your house vacations but see this as an opportunity to um, relax in a way that you probably won't be able to do it uh, if you were uh, working and even uh, you you won't be able to do it so uh, so many times if you were going on vacations somewhere. I know that this uh, said in the way that I'm saying right now sounds very very uh, weird uh, situ uh, thing to to say, but the truth is that uh, we have now an opportunity to create something good to create something better and mostly we are we have the opportunity uh, not to get infected but also to not infect anyone because the true the truth here is that uh, by staying at home uh, even alone the possibility of infecting someone is very very low even or by or by getting infected because even you're going to the market for instance uh you can go to the market 
and the possibility to getting infected uh, is not that much because everything is getting very much controlled. But the truth is that uh, if you, even in lockdown, of course that people can always have a way to see their family or their friends. But uh, when you're alone and by you get even you you trust your friends, you trust your family uh, very uh, deeply uh, and uh, ba bad luck happens, bad things can happen without people realizing because this is a silent virus. Uh, you can get infected by not even realizing it and you can you, you can get infected by a friend or you can infect a friend because we've been seeing so many times that so many people have the virus but have no but the virus uh, have no manifestation in the person so people have doesn't feel anything but have the virus and uh, this can be uh, very dangerous uh, even in lockdown to try to breach lockdown rules because those infections can still happen so we have to win uh, even uh, we know this is a, a difficult time we have to take it right now and and um, take advantage of what what we have more that is social media and right now social media is something that can help us very very much i know that uh, is not the same thing as you meet with a friend or family and you share a meal, you give a big hug and share a meal and, uh, and a drink and you have that energy flow inside uh, the same space. I know it's not the same thing. I know it's this is a colder way to behave, to react and to be with people, but right now is a, a most needed evil let's say this way is the most needed evil and uh, so uh, because we have to see this right now as a, a good thing and for those who, who, who are alone we have to see this as a good thing that is happening instead of bad thing because uh, we have so many instruments we can use it for instance regarding social media we have so many things that we can use so many things that we can do that um, we can have uh, for our own gain and uh, we can still communicate i know once again is not the same but we have to do things and we have to think as a unity because we can, if we want to reach the levels of tranquility and calmness, for instance, like New Zealand have right now, for instance, New Zealand, that's the best example we can talk about right now. New Zealand is already basically COVID free. People walk in the streets without masks. People have a, a normal life already. People go to festivals, to 10,000, 20,000 people festivals with no in record infection. So that's something that is uh, important to see how they do it and the way they do it. And they do it, and how they do it. They do it because they have that country unity. They don't, people is not thinking just about themselves, but they think about the well-being of the country the well the well being of everyone because if everyone is good you also will be good and you also can go to the street and have a normal life and if people don't think as a unity the people under government don't think as a unity you can never you, you will never uh, reach that uh, tranquility that you need and mostly and very important also is to see uh, the way that they uh, attack COVID because when we look at 
uh, at their policies, their government, at the slightest case of COVID, they found a way to attack it and to avoid that COVID would spread uh, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a harsh and big way throughout the community. So they found a way to stop it. And every time there was, uh, there was cases, even if it was in small scale cases, uh, cases, they went into lockdowns, they stopped it, they found the cases, they test everyone uh, the best way possible. And now they are taking the gain of everything that they've done against COVID. And they can have a normal life now because of that, of smart policies and of people and government working and thinking as a unity and not as uh, individual. And that is very important. We have to think, we have to understand that in Europe, we have to start to understand that uh, in this way more deeply or we will never reach the comfort zone. And for here in Portugal, we are very, very far from the comfort zone. And more, uh, more, more importantly, and for countries that are in lockdown, for instance, Italy is still in a very harsh and long lockdown for instance, they say uh, until April, it is a long time. They, are, they already have been in lockdown for a long time. UK, same situation, lo uh, lockdown for a long time. And uh, Spain, lockdowns in, uh, in uh, France, Germany, uh, Czech Republic. So many countries that so in some time were considered one of best examples. Now they are in very harsh lockdowns. People, we have to start to do things as a unity, not as individual. And more, more importantly, we have to realize that right now we have a vaccine. And that vaccine will help us very, uh, very good and in, in a fast way. And we will help us create that group Im immunity that we are needing so we can start have that normal life. So we have to, 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 to understand once and for all that right now being in lockdown and starting to see cases being less and less and people getting vaccinated little by little in this lockdown phase will help us get that immunity more fast and will help us to reach uh, that point that we want, that we, uh, that we ambition to start have a normal life and and to live uh, freely and uh, with more tranquility very very soon and probably in two three months we can start to have that more normal life and that's something that is important to understand and when we understand this we will be able to start to have that normal life that we all want to start have again and, and mostly because uh, if we cannot allow, for instance, to our go to allow to our governments also to be all the time taking our freedom, our freedom of going in the street, our freedom of have a normal life, because this is something that is very important. That if we start to use, if we we are always committing the same mistakes, and we start to to use uh, governments to put us in lockdown and to take our freedom to everything will reach a point that believe me they will get used to it and when we realize when covid is over it it will be over with our freedom as well because we as people we are not thinking as community to solve it we are thinking as individuals so we are committing mistakes that in the future can be very costly and I believe that no one wants it, not now, or ever. And so, and with this, I reached the end of my program. Uh, I just want to give a word to my, also to my followers in uh, in Poland, in Polska. Uh, they have a new uh, national coach, uh, foot or in football, uh, Paul Sosa, uh, Portuguese. Uh, uh, coach 
he's a very very good coach a very good manager and uh, he has a, a long experience of managing uh, of coaching abroad and with some good results so i truly believe that uh, poland is uh, in, regarding the men's football is in a very good situation with uh, their new manager and uh, of course poland has a great team great players but they might be needing a good and strong uh, manager as it is paul Sosa. so i'm very happy for you to have him as your manager and believe me you will be you 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 you, you will be able to see the results of that decision very very soon and so and uh, that was the last thing i wanted to say so with that i finished today's program don't you forget tomorrow we have the quiz and also uh, keep checking our um, our usual uh, programs uh, during the week so and uh, we'll see uh, we'll be able to to see each other on this case to listen to each other <laughs> in next week next saturday don't you forget uh, to to comment comment uh, freely and i'll i'll will answer your comments uh, after the program so uh, so give your ideas your comments and uh, i'll comment after the program and i'll be here also next uh, week so my friends take care be safe and i'll see you very very soon okay cheers <music>